Number 42. How many total pages should be in the paper, including the title page and the reference list? Questions 43 through 46. Listen to a talk about Hawaii. For those of you taking part in the trip to Hawaii next week, I'd like to give you a little information about the weather that you can expect there. You can expect the average daily temperature there to be about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius. This is the average daily temperature in the springtime when we will be there. It is interesting to note that it only gets a few degrees warmer in the summer and a few degrees cooler in the winter. One important factor that keeps the temperature so constant and moderate in Hawaii is the trade winds. These are winds that blow in on the northeast or windward side of the islands on an almost daily basis. The trade winds blow through the islands an average of slightly more than 300 days per year, and they are the strongest during the heat of the afternoon and turn into a cooling breeze in the evening. The trade winds also keep the humidity down, which makes the weather even more pleasant. I hope this information will help you to understand the weather conditions that you're going to encounter next week on your trip. It should also help you decide what types of clothes you should be packing for your trip. Number 43. In what season of the year will the trip take place? Number 44. What is the weather like in Hawaii? Number 45. What is true about the trade winds? Number 46. What will the people listening to the talk probably be doing soon? Questions 47 through 50. Listen to an instructor talk to her class about Walt Whitman. The topic of today's lecture is Walt Whitman, an American poet and author of the renowned collection of poems, Leaves of Grass. This volume of poems is a celebration of America, full of pride in the United States and reverence for the goals of American democracy. Whitman began writing Leaves of Grass in the middle of the 19th century, and the first edition appeared in 1855 with only 12 poems. Several other editions of Leaves of Grass appeared throughout Whitman's lifetime with additional poems. Leaves of Grass grew and matured right along with Whitman. The longest and best-known poem in Leaves of Grass is Song of Myself, which appeared in the first edition. The poem, When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed, was added to a later edition. This poem was written at the time of Abraham Lincoln's death in 1865 and contained Whitman's reflections on that event. Lincoln's death occurred in April, in the spring, in a season of new life. This poem reflects that spring can be at the same time a period of death and a period of rebirth. Number 47 this lecture would probably be a part of which course? Number 48. What is the most common theme in Leaves of Grass? Number 49. What best describes leaves of grass?
Number 50. Which is the longest and best known poem by Whitman? This is the end of the TOEFL post-test, section 1.